Hi everyone, today I will be watching the fourth movie of Harry Potter, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, and I am stoked. So I asked you guys if you want to see a reaction to this one, because I have seen this one a long time ago, and I do remember bits and pieces about this one. Like that there's a competition with a cup, and you have lovely ladies with nice blue dresses, and I also fell in love with Cedric Diggory when I was younger, so I feel like that might be the trigger <laughs> where my teenage hormones were like, yes! This is what I remember and it's funny enough because that way the actor is one that I actually known since I was a teenager which rarely happened on this channel that I've actually known an actor but yeah C Cedric Diggory got my heart and with that I think that's kind of just what I remember so they're gonna do a competition with different schools I guess and that's it but I asked you guys and you were like yeah you need to watch it because there might be other things that like continue the story that you might not remember and i'm just really stoked for this one i enjoyed the previous ones a lot i think so far the third one would be my favorite i don't know where this one is gonna scale for me but then after this one i also have no recollection of nothing at all anymore and i've been having so much fun so thank you for coming on this journey with me if you like these reactions make sure to like and subscribe and the full reaction you can find on patreon together with some exclusive movies and better call soul episodes Please enjoy together with me. I might see you over there. Let's jump into this one. People have been saying that the movies get darker and darker, but I feel like that very much fits with the kids growing up as well and the magic getting darker. I kind of like that a lot. Step aside, oh no, don't kill him. <gasps> okay, maybe I recall less of this movie than I thought. <laughs> I thought we would just jump into the, the games. <laughs> when did you get here? Just now, you. Was that a dream though? Where are we going? I'm the foggiest. Keep up. We're just being dragged along. This strapping young lad must be Cedric, am I right? Oh. And then he played in the what's the vampire movies called? And then I was like, I was already in love with him in Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> Not really checking if every kid knows what's going on. <laughs> Oh, that was it more fun or more hurtful? Oh, I'll be back to you, you son, if you say. <laughs> it's not very big, is it? Excellent. It's big on the inside, that's all. Girls. <laughs> okay, I, I forgot about magic. Oh, I don't think I would want to be there though with the scared of hides. Jesus. I have goosebumps. Okay, hell yeah, I would want to be there. I'll take some magic anti scared of hides pills. It's like a bird the way he rides the wind. He's an artist. I think you're in love, Ron. Victor, I love you. Victor, I do. Uh. Oh, me. Oh my god, isn't that a person's nightmare that you have to get a bunch of kids to safety in this chaos? I was so glad that we didn't have a start at his family's place and him being treated awfully, but I don't know if this is better. Doesn't seem like it. Is that David Tennant, who is kind of an adult crush? <laughs> Crazy because when you watch this as a kid, you probably were like, "What a freaky guy!" And I'm like, hmm, "David Tennant." <laughs> you alright? Came back to Harry. What have you captured it? Crouch, you can't. Touch. I did not lie. Whoa, 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 whoa! There was a man before. Uh, there. Damn, he has a crazy eyes. What a sucky day that was. You know Sirius will want to hear about this. What you saw at the World Cup and the dream. Yeah, that's true as well. I kind of forgot about dream for a second, but... 
Those are ladies in blue. Oh! <laughs> Poor fella. <laughs> Is it bad that I only remembered Cedric Diggory and the girls in blue and not this whatsoever? <laughs> Poor guys. So, Hogwarts has been chosen. <laughs> it's the best run. <laughs> the Triwizard Tournament. <laughs> now, for those of you who do not know, the Triwizard Tournament brings together... These contests are not for the faint-hearted. Please join me in welcoming the lovely ladies of the Bo Batten's Academy of Magic, Madam Maxine. Yes. Please greet the proud sons of Darmstrang. Oh boy. Uh, oh. You know you're a cool dude when you just can like walk in and that's enough to be cool. They drink only single malt whiskey. Ah! Ah! What the hell? Mm. <laughs> it's rough. <laughs> Three extremely dangerous tasks. Wicked. <laughs> Whoa! Forgot about him. That's nightmare inducing. Alistair Moody. The aura. Aura. Moody. <sighs> of course, he couldn't be a nice guy that you feel safe with. No student under the age of 17 should be allowed to put forth their name for the Triwizard Tournament. Silence! Oh. If chosen, there's no turning back. Would you try to join or not? Interesting question. I don't think I would. You know, life versus eternal glory. <laughs> I'm here because Dumbledore asked me. End of story. Goodbye. The end. Any questions? <laughs> Which of you can tell me how many unforgivable curses there are? Free, sir. You need to find another place to put your chewing gum besides the underside of your desk, Mr. Finnegan. The old codger can see at the back of his head. I'm here across classrooms. Oh, 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 ballsy. Uh. Go with you. Oh, uh, no. Oops, for, oh, I would not be happy about that. Scores of witches and wizards have claimed that they only did you know who's bidding under the influence of the imperious curse. But here's the rub. How do we sort out the liars? Oh, that's interesting. The Cruciatus curse. Correct, correct. I have to admit that his way of teaching keeps attention. <laughs> Crucio. Oh, that's horrible. <laughs> Oh. Uh. Only one person is known to have survived it. Oh my god, and he's right there. Sitting in this <gasps> Imagine that. Imagine being the kid. Oh, it's me. Is he the only one to ever have survived it? That's insane. That must up your cool levels in the classroom, right? If you're, what are they now? Like 15 or something? 16? Level? <laughs> Oh, he's still like... You're all right. Neville. I keep forgetting his name. Mm -hmm. Oh! Ready, Fred? Ready, George. Bottoms up. <laughs> oh, or not. They don't think this very well, do they? Quite intimidating, isn't he? What was going on? <gasps> the damn set champion is Victor Crump! Yeah! What? 
That's super surprising. The champion for bow battens is Fleur Delacour. <laughs> the Hogwarts champion, Cedric Diggory. <laughs> <laughs> Do they have an idea at this point how dangerous it's actually gonna be? Because they're all so happy, but also like, what if you die? Harry Potter. <laughs> of course. He's 14 at this point. Harry Potter! <laughs> she's so like, don't cross the age line. And then she's like, go Harry. <laughs> You put your name in a goblet of fire. Oh, sir. You asked one of the oldest students to do it for you? No, sir. Mr. Potter has no choice. That's so weird, though. He is, as of tonight, a Triwizard Champion. We'll change it to a Katara Wizard tournament. You heard Barty. The rules are clear. Oh, the devil with Barty. <laughs> <laughs> I love her. You might have let your best friend know, though. Let you know what? Bloody well. Oh, Ron, come on. I didn't put my name in that cup. I don't want eternal glory. It would be kind of mean to think that he did it himself, knowing what he already went through. It would. It's so accusatory of like, can you not have five minutes without fame? Uh, it's a broom cupboard. You should feel right at home then. Oh! <gasps> wow. That was so rude. Do you think it was the trauma of your past? I, no, I, I didn't enter. <gasps> of course you didn't. <laughs> my eyes aren't glistening with the ghost of my past. <laughs> He's just sitting there like, what the hell? What's going on? <laughs> Whoa, sir. Did you or did you not put your name into the Goblet of Fire? No. Interesting FaceTime idea. These are not just coincidences. Hogwarts isn't safe anymore. I'm saying the devils are inside the wall. Zeke Karkaroff. He was a Death Eater. What? Wait. Excuse me? Out of stone sent his own son to Azkaban. Oh, what? Ronald would like me to tell you that Seamus told him that Dean was told by Pavati that Hagrid's looking for you. What? Uh, Go find Hagrid's. Please don't ask me to say it again. She's Hagrid's so smart and suddenly it's all blank. Well, you can tell Ronald. I'm not an owl. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. That was actually green. Being like, I want to help, but this is stupid. Pay attention. This is important. Hagrid, have you combed your hair? As a matter of fact, I have. Oh, God. Wait, who is that? Is that the boys' school training or? Dragons. That's the first task. Oh. You're joking. These are seriously misunderstood creatures. I have to admit, that horntail is a right nasty piece of work. Poor Ron nearly fainted just seeing them, you know. What? Brother Charlie had to bring him over from Romania. Didn't Ron tell you that? No, he didn't. Well, honestly, though, he didn't tell you, but he did bring you to Hangrid, so that way you would know, so. I don't know. I feel like it's kind of... Oh, nice. <laughs> Dragons. That's the first task. Oh, he's sharing. He's serious. Hey, listen. About the badges, I've asked him not to wear them. Don't worry about it. Yeah, sure. My father and I have a bet, you see. I don't think you're going to last 10 minutes in this tournament. Why are you sitting in that tree? Like a dumbass. I don't give a damn what your father thinks, Malfoy. No! <laughs> he's vile and cruel, and you're just pathetic. Oh boy. <laughs> He's very particular ways. <laughs> Sad <a> student. <laughs> oh man, is he gonna get fired? What are you going to do about your dragon? How did he know that he knows? How is this such a bad kept secret on a magic school? What are your strengths? I can fly. I mean, I'm a fair flyer, but I... Better than fair, the way I heard it. You're allowed a wand. So you're gonna fly on his wand? <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. How is that even... <sighs> what are you doing here, Miss Granger? Sorry, I'll just... 
Go. Party. <laughs> the web screen. What a cool way to actually pick out your dragon. It's leaves. What's that boy? Nothing. Oh no, I think it's a of course. In a sense. The Hungarian horn tail. But each egg contains a clue without which you cannot hope to proceed to the next task. Damn, you need to be strong and witty as well. Mr. Diggory, at the sound of the cannon, you need to... <laughs> <laughs> It's so funny how this world is so cool and so well done. And then some of these things are so like, whoa. You know, you know that some of them hope that his head is gonna get ripped off. Which it might. <laughs> oh, what? So you cannot use your broom, but you're allowed to summon your broom? Semantics. Uh, it's loose. <laughs> There's a school and students and kids and a loose dragon. Thank God he's good at this. <gasps> my God. Okay. Mm. Oh my God. <clears throat> Great. Did we survive? Is oh hurt. Well. It's a giant egg. Who wants me to open it? Yeah! Play your audience. <laughs> the paintings. <laughs> I reckon you have to be barking mad to put your own name in the goblet of fire. Finally, Ron. Took you long enough. I wasn't the only one who thought you'd done it. Ron! <laughs> <laughs> Shush. Yikes. That was very off putting. <laughs> I'm sent me a dress. Well, it does match your eyes. Oh, it's so sad. Like, high school is already hard enough without getting embarrassing clothes. Will you join me, please? <laughs> yeah, I cannot wait for him to steal the show. <laughs> One, two, three. Oh, whoa, the girls are ready. That's me. Damn, Neville. He's really blossoming in this movie, isn't he? Oh. Damn, it's awkward. If you can't get a date, you can. I think I take the dragon right now. Ooh, that's a no. It might interest you to know that Neville's already got someone. Oh. You're so mean. Oh, girl. Very well spotted. Come with one of us. girl, it's just sad. I won't be going alone because, believe it or not, someone's asked me. Damn, there's some really hard digs in this one. <laughs> Tonight, when we get back to the common room. Oh! oh. Yes? I don't know if maybe you want to go to the ball with me. Sorry, I didn't catch that. <laughs> Need to say it twice. Wondering if maybe you wanted to go to the ball with me. Harry, I'm, Ooh. I'm sorry, but someone's already asked me. I've, I've said I'll go with him. Ah, hard shutters. Oh, um, she kind of seemed like she really wanted to go with him. Then again, he should have asked earlier. He just asked Fleur de la Cour out. Wow, boy, okay. She said yes. Just sort of slipped out. Actually, he sort of screamed at her. It was a bit frightening. <laughs> I ran for it. I'm not cut out for this, Harry. Hi, Harry. Oh, Rob. <laughs> hey. Is he gonna fix them up at some dates? There's so much going on, right? When you're a teenager and you have these proms and stuff, and then the whole dynamic of like who are the popular ones, not popular ones, and having fun, and how do you look, and how do you ask, and whew. Don't you look dashing? 
It's nice about it. It's traditional that the three champions, well, in this case, four, are the first to dance. Should we have told you that? No. Yikes. Aww. Being asked by the cool boy. Harry, take my waist. Damn, that would freak me out. Imagine having to dance in front of all of your high school. Whoa, is this allowed at Hogwarts? This changed pace very quickly. Victor's gone to go and get drinks. She cares to join us. Would you care to join us? How English. You're fraternizing with the enemy. Oh, come on. I think he's got a bit more than friendship on his mind. Are you going to ask me to dance or not? No. Damn, he's a party pooper. Like a fun sponge. Pluck up the courage and ask me before somebody else does. And not as a last resort. And that's just completely off the point. Don't worry. Where have you been? Her hair is like all over the place. They get scary when they get older. Ron, you spoiled everything! What? What? Why is it? Oh, oh, that's so sad. I do think that in these prom evenings, there's a lot of broken hearts. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I can tell you that pregnancy dreams are the scariest I've ever had, but this is uh, something too. You know the prefect's bathroom on the fifth floor? Just take your egg and mull things over in the hot water. Thanks. <laughs> I'd try putting it in the water if I were you. <gasps> With his glasses on? Oh. Oh, I think I do remember the swimming underwater scene. I don't know about a turnip, but you can always use gillyweed. I'm sorry, Neville taking the prize for best person in the movie. Damn. Are there other solutions? Did they did they all take gillyweed? Oh, that's cool. Oh boy. Ugh. <laughs> Is it super sick to know that these moo people are into this as well? Oh, great. Oh, oh. That looked fairly efficient. Up, 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 up. Oh! <laughs> oh, oh. Thank you. Ooh. And you, you helped. Merci. <laughs> Completely faced. I was seeing as Mr. Potter would have finished first, had it not been for his determination to rescue. Not only Mr. Weasley, but the others as well. Second place! Yes. And Crum is like, what? And Crum is probably also like, why are you happy that your friend beat me, the one who saved you? <laughs> Not trying to lure Potter into one of the Ministry's summer internships, are we? Ugh. Okay. That's so interesting. Um... I thought it was uh, the Igor dude, but then like, yeah, Barty. Only. Oh, Harry, how good to see you again. Wow, what a crazy switch. Oh, smooth landing. 
Severus Snape. I was a counselor is very much aware I've given evidence on this matter. Severus Snape was indeed a Death Eater. Oh! Turned spy for us. Today he's no more a Death Severus Eater than Snape I am. Severus Snape remains faithful to the... Yikes! Oh my god. Ugh. Does he behave like this all the time? Because I feel like you could sense it in the air a bit. Otherwise. <laughs> that's so messed up though. Like if he had remained seated and just be like, no, that's so insane. What a claim. Would like it was so. Mm, I don't know. What exactly happened to him? He was sent to Azkaban. Oh, so he should be in captivity. I had a dream about him. It was in the summer. Have there been others like this dream? Always the same one. Hmm. Should we check if he's still imprisoned? A rather rare herb, Gillyweed. Not something found in your everyday garden. Know what it is? Bubble juice, sir. Veritas syrup. Three drops of this, and you know who himself would spill his darkest. Veritas. Should you ever steal from my personal stores again, my hand might just slip. I haven't stolen anything. Don't lie. Gillyweed may be innocuous, but boom slang skin, lace swing flies. You and your little friends are brewing polyjuice potion. Here's a polyjuice potion again. So who did he get it from? Did he get it from Neville? Or did Moody put it in his hands when he was standing there? Did Neville actually give it to him? Or was it Moody? Why before he pushed him in? First person to touch the cup will be the winner. Yeah. Should at any point a contestant wish to withdraw from the task, he or she need only send up red sparks with their wand. It's weird that with the water test, there wasn't a way to let people know that you wanted to stop. You would just have drowned. You'll find no dragons or creatures of the deep. Instead, you'll face something even more challenging. Oh, find the cup if you can, but be very wary. You could just lose yourselves along the way. Have fun, kids. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> See, again, like so badly arranged. <laughs> Cheetah. <laughs> um, not your ordinary maze. Oh my f <laughs> uh. Ah, what the f <laughs> We played badminton in our school contest. <laughs> oh boy, it's so close. Most important run for your life. Oh, sorry, Cedric. The movies are called Harry Potter. Oh, he's changing too, maybe. That's nice. For a moment there, I thought you, you were going to let it get me. For a moment, so did I. Come on, get to the cup. Yeah, fair enough. Get it. Get it. To get what? Eternal glory? Uh, this doesn't seem like a party. Oh my god, my sister went to, I think it's Scotland, and she went to a cemetery, and I think it had two names. Oh my god, I should look into my pictures. That apparently Rowling used for the names in Harry Potter. And go with him. Eee! Kill the stag! No, 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 no! Oh, I feel like I forgot that. Ah! Holy shit! Ah! So you bring someone back to life. Uh, 
I would do well with a nose. Uh, me summon some friends. Oh my god, from the Slytherin boys. Crab and Goyle. Apparently the Goyle kid had to move in the previous movie because he got... Arrested? Such a handsome boy. Don't touch him! <laughs> How did I completely forget that Cedric died? It's like... <laughs> Just remember the pretty boy, not his sad exit. Wait, is this one of the spells? The first one? Oh, and the second. That a boy, Harry. It's just firing away the unforgivable ones. Oh, come on now. Cedric? Oh my god, his parents! How weird is that? You've never heard their, them speaking to you in that sense? Oh, he bailed! He bailed! Oh shit, I forgot. Oh. Jake Dumbledore, what's happened? He's back. A boy's just been killed. Oh, his dad is right there. Nee. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, I feel like there's nothing more heartbreaking than a parent losing their baby. You have literally life before and then life is never the same again. And this is the moment where you, they just break and that's just it. Oh, nee, it's him. Oh, me, nee. me nee. Again, again, the teacher of the dark arts. In the graveyard with her others. Um, ah, okay, how does he know about the graveyard? I think I said anything about a graveyard, Professor. <sighs> Time to get out. Run! You put my name in the Goblet of Fire. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Timing, Dumbledore. Thanks. Are you out, Sir Moody? Are you? No. Is he in this room? How do you get away from there? Snape is on the good side here. You all right, Alistair? I'm sorry, Albus. What? Oh. So not very much imprisoned. How did he get there? Like, how did he get out of Azkaban without anybody knowing? Lord Voldemort has returned. Uh, did he know? Cedric Diggory was murdered by Lord Voldemort. The Ministry of Magic does not wish me to tell you this, but not to do so, I think, would be an insult to his memory. Our hearts beat as one. The bonds of friendship we made this year will be more important. Oh man, having to like. <sighs> I never liked these curtains. Set them on fire in my fourth year, by accident, of course. Hmm. <laughs> Rebel. I put you in terrible danger this year, Harry. Was he a Gryffindor? Do we actually know? Is this him saying I was a Gryffindor or are the curtains the same everywhere? Can you even write, Victor? <laughs> ah, revoir, ma belle. <laughs> I kind of feel so weird. It's like this super nice moment knowing that the one person that I remembered from this movie died. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm not here for your dramatics. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, it feels so wholesome with this dark lining. That was yeah. You can see the difference, right? Compared to the first movie, and now like how it does get darker. Oh, 
I'm so glad I rewatched it though, because I actually was planning on skipping this one and people in the comments were like, no, 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 you really need to watch it. And thank freaking God, because more than there were these games with schools, I was not aware of the main story and I would have completely missed Dark Lord being back, which I think is like quite important for the next movies probably. Oh, this was nice. I really like the concept of this one with the like the backstory you know the backstory of the games but then so much has happened especially like with the whole moody Barty Crouch and Barty Crouch Jr that dynamic Wormtail being there is it because in the last one he actually got away that he like wee, 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 away that's interesting and also, I'm so stoked because I don't even know, is there two or three movies after this? How many Harry Potter movies? Eight films? No, eight. Wait. Order of the Phoenix, Halfwood Blinds, and Deadly Hallows 1 and 2. Four movies still! I'm only halfway! <laughs> okay, this is really cool because I thought there were like two or three max and yeah that means that i'm only halfway and i have no clue what's gonna ha be happening next and i've heard people getting way more excited them still getting darker which i think is cool i like that vibe a lot it's less that fantasy for kids but also as an adult you can enjoy it but man i cannot wait to watch the next ones and these movies are quite long but i'm like i kind of want to watch the next one already <laughs> so i'm very curious to see when i'm actually gonna record that one i hope you had fun today let me know in the comment section if you had any idea who was a bad guy because i actually was thinking of barty crouch at one point until he died and then i was like um but i do feel like the snape thing is also very interesting first of all i don't get how igor is not being thrown out after he showed his mark to snape you know that means that snape didn't snitch on him but then again he also helped and got stolen from so i don't know we'll see thank you for being here today if you had fun please make sure to like and subscribe it helps out me it helps me out a lot if you leave a comment and if you want to see the full reaction you can find that always on patreon together with some patreon exclusives for you to enjoy and i'll see you in the next one have a lovely rest of your day Bye bye